When you look at a seller's asking price, do you know what's behind that number? Most buyers don't, especially if they go into transaction using old ways of thinking. I have the up to the minute reality if you want the savvy lowdown on what goes into an asking price. For generations, the home buying process didn't change very much. It went something like this. First, the seller would try and estimate the market value of the home. Once they arrived at that figure, they would tack on a little extra, small percentage, just to give themselves some negotiating room. That figure would become the listing price of the house. Next, potential buyers would come along and try to determine how much less than full price they could offer and still get the home. In this scenario, the asking price was generally seen as the ceiling for negotiation. Back then, it was almost unthinkable to pay more than what the seller was asking. Today, you can throw this scenario out the window. We're experiencing a record low supply of homes for sale. If you take this reality and couple it with the strong buyer demand, you get a rise in bidding wars on homes. Because of this reality, many homes today sell for more than the list price. In some cases, we've seen them sell for a lot more. If you're having trouble accepting that fact and want numbers to back up that idea, a recent study on pricing trends showed that 45% of buyers paid full price or more for their next home. What does this mean? It means that you, as a home buyer, can't bring outdated thinking into the modern marketplace. In today's market, you simply can't shop for a home with the mentality of refusing to pay full price or more for a house. The shortage of inventory of houses for sale has led to many homes being offered in an auction-like atmosphere in which the highest bidder wins the home. In an actual auction, the seller agrees to take the highest bid. Many sellers set a reserve price on the item they're selling. A reserve price is a minimum amount the seller will accept as the winning bid. When navigating a competitive housing market like this one, Think of the list price of the house as the reserve price at a traditional auction. This is the minimum the seller will accept in many cases. Today, the asking price has become the negotiation's floor rather than the ceiling. That means if you really love the home, you need to understand that it may ultimately sell for more than the seller's asking price. Make sure you know your budget. Know what you can afford, and most importantly, work with a trusted advisor who can help you make the right moves as you buy a home. What is the bottom line? Buyers that are more familiar with the housing market of the past than that of today may think offering more for a home than the listing price is a foolish tactic. The reality is that frequent and competitive bidding wars have created an auction-like atmosphere, and many real estate transactions. Let's connect so you can have the best advice on how to make a competitive offer on your next home in our local market. Hey there, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and share this video with someone you care about. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you next week.